Hello again from Fox News in Washington. Well, it was a wild ride on Wall Street this week and one of the roughest so far on the campaign trail. We'll talk about the financial crisis with our two governors in a few minutes, but first, the rough back and forth between the candidates. And we're joined by Rick Davis, McCain's campaign manager, who's here in Washington, and from Chicago, David Axelrod, chief strategist for Obama. Well, let's start with the latest controversy over angry rhetoric at McCain campaign rallies. Yesterday, Congressman John Lewis, the civil rights leader, uh, compared it to segregation as George Wallace back in the 60s. Let's put up what he said. Uh, what I am seeing today reminds me too much of another destructive period in American history. Senator McCain and Governor Palin are playing with fire, and if they are not careful, that fire will consume us all. Uh, David, Congressman Lewis later backed away from the comparison with uh, Wallace, mm -hmm. but uh, the Obama campaign, uh, while they said that they do not uh, see any comparison to George Wallace, did condemn what it calls hateful rhetoric, such as. Yes. Well, they haven't, we're not the only ones who have condemned it. Editorial pages across the country have condemned it. Other public officials, Republicans like. Uh, Governor Milliken, former Governor Milliken from Michigan, uh, uh, Ray LaHood, a congressman from Illinois, Republican, have all condemned it because when you stand up and you say someone's been palling around with terrorists, they don't see America the way we see it, you don't really know who he is and so on, and people start yelling, kill him, bomb him, uh, off with his head, that is not where we want to take politics in this country. You know. A week ago, uh, Chris, uh, uh, an official of the uh, McCain campaign said, "We don't. We're going to start aiming at his character because we, if we have to talk about the economy, uh, we're going to lose. And the economy does hang from their neck like the anchor from the Lusitania. I understand that." But this is really not the place we want to take. We've got to pull together as a country, and there are parameters, and those parameters have been crossed. Now, we give Senator McCain credit for, at the end of the week, uh, taking on a couple of these comments in his, uh, in his appearances. But the ads are continuing to drive this, and, uh, you know, you have to take responsibility. Well, Rick uh, Davis, let me bring you in. Uh, it, it is a fact that uh, has been reported by, uh, by reporters who have been at these rallies that some people in the crowds, not the majority, but some people in the crowds have been saying terrorist, kill him, off with his head. Do uh, Palin and McCain bear some responsibility for in their ads and their campaign stumps calling Obama a liar who pals around with terrorists? Look, Chris, I, I think we have to take this very seriously. And the, the kind of comments made by Congressman Lewis, a big uh, Obama supporter are reprehensible. The idea that you're going to compare John McCain to the kinds of hate spread in the uh, 60s by somebody like uh, George Wallace is outrageous. Where was John McCain when George Wallace was spreading his hate and segregationist policies at that time? He was in a Vietnam prison camp serving his country with his civil rights also denied. Nobody knows sacrifice like John McCain does. And the idea that Barack Obama did not address this issue directly, had his campaign walk out with a half-baked statement that didn't even address the comments made by Lewis as it related to John McCain, Barack Obama should apologize to John McCain directly for the kinds of comments made by Joe Lew jo John Lewis yesterday, and that should be the end of this sordid uh, well, affair. Let, let me, now, the reality is that, that well, you didn't, well, interrupt, no, you didn't I, interrupt him. Let me, let me speak to this. Um, you asked, what were the things said that would be considered uh, this kind of uh, 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 remarks that would drive this kind of hate? And what did, what did Mr. Axelrod say? Nothing. He went into a diatribe about attacking John McCain. Do we not think that the relationship between Bill Ayers and Barack Obama bears some scrutiny? Because the press will not ask any questions about Barack Obama's background, it is a legitimate question. There are voters all over the country who say, we don't know enough about this man. What is his experience? What informs his judgment? What will make him a president of the United States? And I think filling in those blanks is essential to having a dialogue on this so, campaign. So, you have, so let me, I'm going to ask him whether he he apologizes for what uh, John Lewis said, but I want to ask you directly, you don't back off at all uh, the comments that McCain and Palin have made that Obama lies, he's a liar, and he pals around with terrorists. Oh my God, Obama's campaign uh, commercials themselves called John McCain a liar. John McCain's never used the liar phrase until Barack Obama put it up on air. You know, Obama has a whole habit of doing this. You know, back in the days when he used to make statements like, oh, they're going to call me risky, you know, they're going to think that I look, don't look like one of those guys on the face of the dollar bill. You know what he did next? He then ran an ad against John McCain calling him risky. 
I mean, that's the most hypocritical statement I've ever seen. All right. I mean, no, can, let's no, wait, let's wait, be wait. fair about this. Okay. There's absolutely I, I nothing be, being done in our campaign that hasn't I, already been done first by Barack Obama. I, I, I want to be fair, and I want to ask uh, Mr. Axelrod, uh, do you condemn the comments made by Congressman Lewis? Well, let me just say before I answer that question, uh, if anybody has any questions about risky, they ought to ha take a look at how uh, Senator McCain has been handling this financial uh, crisis and the economy for the last couple David, of weeks. David, that's got nothing that to do with the question. Why don't you answer his the question point, about John but, Lewis? Uh, but uh, uh, look, we, we, made, we issued a statement right away and said there's no comparison between George Wallace and John McCain. But what I haven't heard Rick say who's, who's we? is... Uh, what I haven't said, what I haven't heard Rick say, what I haven't heard, what I haven't heard Rick say, is that there's anything wrong with the kind of statements that are coming out in these rallies, and that's the issue. Are you going to speak out against? Oh, absolutely. That kind Look, of I'll say right away for the record, there's well, absolutely nothing appropriate about those statements. But I would also say that, for the record think, that there's absolutely nothing being done on the stage by our candidates, John McCain or Governor Palin, that would incite that kind of thing. You know, people are angry well, right now. I disagree now. with that. And one of the things I, they're I angry about that, is Rick. the campaign that you're running doesn't answer. Answer the simple questions, just like you've just shown, you're not willing to answer Chris's questions. No, Rick. What they're angry about is that they can't pay their bills. They can't. I get agree, a loan. which is why they're, they're coming to McCain job. rallies. They're worried about their health care. And they're hoping that he'll become elected president hear, so that he can and lower their taxes and generate economic growth. And what they hear from the McCain campaign is they don't want to. What they hear from the McCain campaign is we don't want to talk about the economy because we'll lose. So we're going to throw a bunch of bogus. No, that's what they're hearing from your campaign. All right, all right, That's what your campaign has done. As I said before this, let's break clean on the clinches. And let's go to the next point. But on Friday, uh, Rick, uh, McCain tried to calm things down because he felt that the anger at this one rally was getting out of hand. I want to run a clip from one of your recent ads and then what McCain said at the rally. Take a look. Obama's blind ambition. When convenient, he worked with terrorist Bill Ayers. When discovered, he lied. Obama. Blind ambition, bad judgment. He is a decent person and a person that you do not have to be scared as president of the United States. Now, I, I just, now I just, now, now look, I, I, if I didn't think I wouldn't be one heck of a lot better president, I wouldn't be running, okay? Here's the question I have for you, Rick. Yeah. If McCain stands by that ad and, and, and that uh, Obama is consorting with a former terrorist, blind ambition, bad judgment, lies, why shouldn't we be scared about Barack Obama as president? Well, look, you're going to make your own judgment based on that. John well, McCain, no, John McCain, John McCain made not, his judgment. First of all, let's be clear. The, the person who he is addressing specifically said very nasty things about Barack Obama that had nothing to do with that commercial. He was addressing someone who stood up in one of our town halls, which, by the way, we let anybody who wants to come to our town halls. We don't, we don't require any kind of checks. Anybody can stand up in those town halls and say anything they want to John McCain. Sometimes they say inappropriate things. In this case, it had nothing to do with that commercial. So I wouldn't mix and match them. It is a fact. That's, that's absolutely a, not true. It is a that's fact. not true. He was that, repeating that, that the messages of a false commercial. Your commercials that is a, that's absolutely are designed not true. to incite that people. Commercial he was is repeating exactly the message accurate. of that commercial. Why don't but you let's, answer let's the question as to why it's so confusing on your website, let's, uh, let's, uh, David, uh, about whether or not John McCain talk for a second, or whether or not he had a relationship with Mr. Ayers. I want to talk about those commercials. Is Mr. Ayers a part of his 